I get money and looking for folk. Then I hit cows and boom me some hours. Everyone loves me. I'm in my mood. I'm in my mood. I'm in my mood. Everyone loves me. Hello everyone, this is Alcabear the Analyst, and today I will be talking Trey Sermon, getting his Eagles debut against the Jacksonville Jaguars due to Boston Scott rib injury. Also, I want to talk about Dallas Goddard. Tony Gonzalez believed Dallas Goddard is the best tight end in the league. I could not agree more. And let's just get into it. We're just going to talk some Eagles news, man. This is Alcabeta Analyst. So, before I even start any news, before I start anything, I got to say prayers up to Tua, man. I got to say prayers up to Tua. And, look, man, Eagles are the only undefeated team. Dolphins lost last night. I think the Dolphins would have won if Tua wasn't hurt. My personal opinion I don't think Tua should ever take a snap for the Dolphins ever again. Ever again. You know, if I was in the NFL and the organization did me like that, nah, I can't play for y'all. It got to a point I was saying like, yo, Tua probably should even play football again. When his hands locked up like that, that means he had a serious neck injury. And when your spine get hit like that, and you and you concuss like that, I'm, I'm probably being a little boring here. But when things happen like that, it causes you your body to lock up, right? That's why his hands was like that, which you guys probably know by now. But because his spinal cord and his neck got hit hard, and I believe he was dealing with a concussion last game, it causes caused his fingers and his upper body to lock that's insane just for him to play for y'all to go four no y'all risked this man career forget the season they've risked this man career that's insane that's insane if i was his parents i would never want my son to probably play football or even if i want him to play i don't Ever want him to play for the Dolphins? Never. Dolphins is on some goofy stuff, bro. Goofy stuff. Like, come on, man. Prayers up to Tua, man. Hopefully, he get healthy. I think he should sit the season out. Maybe I'm overreacting, but man, man, oh man. I I just think the organization don't have his best interest. And lastly, before I go off on the tangent, it reminds me of. What happened in Los Los Angeles with um was it Teddy Bridgewater? I think it was Teddy Bridgewater. I could be wrong. Where's though the doctor gave him a shot? They gave him the shot and it punctured his lung. And because it punctured his lung, it caused Justin Herbert to get his shot. That's some dirty stuff. That's some dirty stuff, man. But Let's get into some Eagles news. So, Trey Sermon. Trey Sermon, he's getting his opportunity. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Um, I love Boston Scott, but depending on how Trey Sermon play, might be his last stint in Philadelphia. But we'll see. We'll see. I like Boston Scott. He, Boston Scott, anytime he got the opportunity, he took advantage of. He got a touchdown this season. He broke one for like 16 yards this season. So he's been looking pretty good. But Trey Sermon, I heard from 49ers fans that he run a bit soft, even though he's big. But if that's not true, well, hopefully it's not, and he's the big body running back we need, and and he got a little shiftiness to him, he can be a very dangerous third option. He can be very dangerous Trey Sermon was a, what, second, third round pick? I don't think he fell off like that, but we will find out. We will definitely find out, but he's getting his opportunity. He said he's been learning the system, and he's the next man up, and he's going to show out. We will see. We will definitely see because I think it's going to be a lot of running. Heard the weather's going to be nasty. We might have to run the ball down these dudes' throats. Might not be one of those spectacular games where Jalen Hurst been throwing the ball all over defenses. 
this is probably going to be one of them muddy, get it out the mud games where, where it's the, we got to use Jalen Hurts' legs, we got to use Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gainwell, and Trey Sermon. I feel like it's going to be one of those games. And we know they got Travis Etienne and James Robinson. Just might be one of those games if the weather is bad as they saying it is. So hopefully Trey Sermon show out. Hopefully he show out. Um, I want to talk about, lastly, is Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard is being known as the best tight end in the league by a GOAT. I believe Tony Gonzalez is first, and I think Shannon Sharp is second. Some of the best tight ends we ever seen. Tony Gonzalez believes Dallas Goddard is the best tight end. I think so, too. As far as overall, yeah, you probably could pull numbers from the guy in Atlanta, right? On Kyle Pitts, who I believe is nice. Yeah, I don't think Mike Gusecki is better than Dallas Goddard. No way. Um, I like the guy in Baltimore, Mark Andrews, but Mark Andrews is really like known for his receiving. But Dallas Goddard can really do it all. He can block. He got the most yak yards between all, out of all the tight ends in the league. So when he get the ball, he's running over people. It's hard to bring them down. Whereas, though, I can name these other guys, but they more one-dimensional. Like Dan Waller, like him in Las Vegas, but... He's a receiver. He's more of a receiver. Kyle Pitts is more of a receiver. Not really that good of a blocker. Even Mike Gusecki. Most of these new tight ends are receiving tight ends. Dallas Goddard is really very, very traditional, but he can also catch the ball and make things happen. So I I agree with Tony Gonzalez a lot. I think he's just that overall tight end that any team can use. You need me to block this week? Cool. I'm going to block. Need me to get 80 yards on the team? Cool, I can do that. And the weapons he got, well, the weapons the Eagles got and still make your presence felt, that's good. That's good. Even like a Travis Kelsey. I think he's better than Travis Kelsey as far as overall. Travis Kelsey, I believe, is the better receiver. But overall, I think Dallas Goddard is better than Travis Kelsey. It's my opinion. My opinion the GOAT agree with me. He don't have no ties to the Eagles, Tony Gonzalez. So, yeah, man, I, I, I couldn't agree more. And also, like I said in the beginning, if I said this in the beginning, the Eagles are the only undefeated team. Let's stay the only undefeated team. I think it's going to be a very good game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. But if we beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, be prepared for everybody to say, Jalen Hurts didn't beat nobody. Y'all only beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Whereas though they are playing like a top tier team right now. So, hey, what do I know? What do I know about Jacksonville Jaguars? About Devin Lloyd being one of, one of the best linebackers in the league right now as a rookie. What do I know about James Robinson making his presence known? What do I know it seemed like? Trevor Lawrence is trying to take another step. But, hey, what do I know? What do I know? But what do you think and how do you feel about this game coming up? As all Eagles games, I'm always nervous because anything can happen any Sunday. Any Sunday. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Go Go low. Mm. This one.